What's up my Treadwell Eagles? Today we're going to talk about the human impact on the atmosphere. Um, we're taking this from a standard called 7 point ESS 3.2 which is engaged in scientific argument through graphing and translating data regarding human activity and climate. Now we aren't going to be able to engage in argument necessarily in this but we're going to learn about how humans have impacted the atmosphere. Our last couple of videos have been dealing with what the atmosphere is, how it works, and so this is how the humans have impacted it, how we as humans have impacted our atmosphere. So in the last video, I talked about two reasons uh, why the atmosphere is important, and I'm going to add a third one, all right? So we talked about protection from harmful rays of the sun. The ozone layer protects the Earth from some of those UV rays and prevents them from getting to the Earth's surface and to us and plants, et cetera. Uh, it also helps us maintain the correct temperature range, the greenhouse, get the greenhouse effect. Essentially, when the sunlight enters the Earth and gets past the ozone layer, that heat gets trapped in, by our greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide and other gases. Um, and then the third thing I'm adding is the provision of gases that organisms need to survive. So humans, what do we need to survive? What gas? Oxygen, right? Um, what do plants need? Carbon dioxide, right? So some of these gases that are essential to the life of organisms on Earth are important and make the atmosphere important. So what is air pollution? Air pollution is the contamination of the atmosphere by pollutants from human and natural sources. So this is a picture of uh, China, a city in China, and as you can see, the air is very polluted, and we call this smog when there's kind of that background layer of, looks almost like mist, all right? Um, and so this is caused, primarily in China, it's caused by human sources, humans are, causing the smog to take place and the air is contaminated. So what are some of the sources of air pollution? Well, we got electricity and heat production. That is our greatest percentage of air pollution. And that's because a lot of that is produced by fossil fuels. So coal is one of the main drivers behind electric production or the production of electricity as well as heat. Um, agriculture also produces a lot of air pollution, whether that be certain um, chemicals, fertilizers, and also uh, livestock that can be contributing to air pollution. Transportation is another big one, as well as just general industry and then um, buildings as well. So why is air pollution bad? So there are three reasons I'm going to give in this video. One is acid precipitation, two is reduced air quality, three is depleted ozone layer. So acid precipitation is any rain, snow, sleet, or other precipitation that contains acids from air pollution. So if we look at this, actually this picture previously, we see these fish who are lying there dead. This is actually a result of what happened in Alaska was there was some acid rain and it killed a lot of the salmon in the stream. The way this happens is fossil fuels produce these gases like sulfur dioxide, uh, nitrogen oxide, carbon dioxide, and they end up reacting in the air and creating different acids, acids right? So sulfur dioxide produces sulfuric acid, nitrogen Oxides produces nitric acid, carbon dioxide produces carbonic acid, and this mixes with the water, or the, the snow, sleet, whatever's coming down, and it is going to impact our lakes, our streams, our soil, and obviously if the soil is too acidic or the soil is too acidic, plants can't grow, animals can't live there, um, so it creates a lot of problems. So that's the important reason why we need to prevent uh, air pollution is because of acid precipitation. Another is just air quality in general. Air quality is essentially how clean or polluted the air is. This can be measured by the AQI, which is the air quality index. And 
different places like China are going to have worse scores on that. Now, we live in America and we're actually very fortunate to have what's called the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. This was established under President Nixon. And essentially, this agency has put regulations on industry. And the result of that has been the United States, for its economic and industrial capacity, has really not uh, contributed as much as many of the other countries in terms of pollution. We still pollute a lot, but the EPA has really regulated um, and created ways that uh, industry isn't producing as much pollution. Now, pollution has an effect on human health. Um, Short-term effects of air pollution can be coughing, headaches, difficulty breathing, itchy eyes. Long-term effects can be lung cancer, allergies, asthma, um, emphysema, chronic bronchitis. Emphysema is just like a shortness of breath uh, type condition in the lungs. So again, we don't want this air pollution because it reduces the air quality and that affects our human health. Now, the ozone layer, depletion of the ozone layer is another big deal. Um, so we talked about earlier and in previous videos, the ozone layer prevents all the harmful rays of the sun or many of the harmful rays of the sun from entering the, the troposphere and where we live, all right? And so back in, Back in the 1900s, there was a lot of chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, which were used as coolants in refrigerators and air conditioners. And essentially what happened was when these were released into the atmosphere, they caused ozone, O3, to break down into O2, oxygen. And so O2, oxygen, doesn't have the same properties that allows those rays to be blocked. And so that whole layer, it suddenly is getting thinner because it's turning ozone into oxygen and eventually scientists figured that out and they, they decided to ban chlorofluorocarbons in order for the ozone layer to heal and it is healing and that's a really good thing. Um, this just shows us the impact that humans can really have on the environment um, and how serious it can be because if we continue to use CFCs our ozone layer would have been completely depleted and Life as we would have known it would not have been the same because plants and animals and humans would not have been able to um, thrive because of the harmful rays of the sun. So again, the three reasons why air pollution is bad, acid precipitation, reduced air quality, depletion of the ozone layer. Um, and that's it. So make sure you click the quiz link in the description. And let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm here to help you all and hope you learned a lot in this video.